Hi, my name is Chris Smithy. I'm a senior systems engineer here at Landcope. And what we're going to present for you here is forensic analysis into network troubleshooting problems with the StealthWatch product. So we're going to pick up from one of the previous videos where we worked on real-time analysis for help desk related scenarios and dive further into the data to look at a forensic investigation. And here we go. We begin today's look at StealthWatch with a top-level view of network performance. So from this upper left-hand quadrant, I can see what overall trending of data has looked like coming into and out of the Lancope network over the last three days. Just below it, I can determine what type of traffic trending has moved around within my network during that same type of time frame. And over to the right, I've got a breakdown of all the various interfaces within the network and what current utilization looks like across these interfaces. Now, if I find an interface that's significantly congested, or maybe one that's just interesting to me in terms of the utilization looking higher than I believe it should be, the difference between NetFlow and SNMP is that NetFlow allows me to drill into those statistics to find out what the cause of this congestion is. So by simply double clicking on this interface, I'm drilled into what we call an interface dashboard. With this interface dashboard, our aim is to give you all the important information to be able to make a decision about what's causing congestion on this link and what your course of action should be. So down here at the bottom, we have a list of what our top 10 conversations are for this particular link coming either into or out of the network. In this case, we can see that the cause of outbound congestion on this particular link is this top conversation here, where we've got a web session that is fielding approximately five megabits per second of traffic coming into the network. Now, in this particular instance, we also want to look to see, you know, is this traffic something that is normal for the day or is it some sort of sudden outburst? This helps us better determine what it is that we'll do with this data. Now, not only can we provide this data from the perspective of today's information, but we're also looking at the previous seven days worth of traffic. So we're able to quickly determine, you know, this is the cause of congestion, is it normal for today, and is this something that happens within the course of a, a regular daily cycle for this particular host. Now, should this be something that we're further interested in, we may want to be able to contact the user of this session, find out what exactly it is that they're doing to contribute all this bandwidth to the network. So to do that, I simply right click on the IP address from my internal network, move down to hosts, and pull a user identity query. This will quickly quickly tell me what particular users are logged into this host on the network. So from this information, I can quickly determine that the machine, this 10.201.3.83 that was responsible for that high traffic from my internal network, is one of our terminal servers. We can see that we've got multiple people logged into this resource, but we've been able to quickly determine that we had a link that had congestion on it, We've been able to determine whether or not that traffic was normal, who was responsible, and then move directly from a specific IP address creating congestion on the network down into the potential users responsible for that particular traffic outbreak. So here we've seen how StealthWatch moves easily from high-level information down into deep technical detail required to troubleshoot these types of problems. This information is applicable not only for network teams, but is useful to InfoSec, for server teams, and a myriad of different organizations within the infrastructure. For more information about how StealthWatch can help assist you with your network troubleshooting or any other uses, please contact us.